Transcribed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the delightful Viennese operetta, Marinka, starring Gordon McRae and his guest star, Gladys Swarthout. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps no love story is as haunting or mysterious as the romance of Miley. Did it have a happy ending or a sad one? Well, sir, we'll find out in tonight's operetta, Marinka. I shall be crowned Prince Rudolph von Habsburg and lovely Gladys Swarthout, the enchanting Marinka. Journey with me on the wings of a song. Let every note float you along. Down to a town where the citizens all seem to be dreamily waltzing. Only one touch of Vienna. Love song, maestro, please. Just for tonight, once again, make my heart beat Viennese. While the sweet magic of waltz time temporarily holds time, tell everyone love can be fun in a Vienna song. Presentation of the debutants continue. Very well, Prince Rudolph. Katharina Cecilia Berra von Obergurgel. Enchant. Veronica Leontine von Bopp. Delighted. The Baroness Maria Vecera. Baroness Vecera. Your humble servant. Your Imperial Highness. His Majesty, the Emperor, is awaiting these young ladies in the garden. Well, then take them along, Lobquitz. I wouldn't think of depriving my father of such delightful company. Ladies, I kiss your hand. Oh. <laughs> Ruby, I had to drop that handkerchief so I could come back. Oh, Marinka, you're learning all the tricks of the ladies of the court. What has happened to the innocent little child I first saw at the opera? How could you have seen me? You were asleep. <laughs> oh, my darling, I, I'm never that much asleep. You were such a shy little thing. I have changed, haven't I, Rudy? Mm, yes, yes, my dear. I wonder if you know how much. A great deal, Rudy. A great deal. Highness, oh, Highness, goodbye to my shyness. You're charming me into confession. Lately, I'm greatly concerned that my fate leads me on to my first indiscretion. I should merely be content to be just what I was meant to be, just a girl who to the children. But to find you treating me as if you like meeting me, what is there to do? I 
I dream it more or less That some night you might say yes tomorrow, Marinka, at my hunting lodge at Meyerly. Bratfish! Bratfish! Here, Your Highness. Oh, Bratfish, is there no sign of her yet? Go to the door and see if there's a carriage in sight. Directly, Prince Rudolph. Your Highness, the road is empty. Oh, Bratfish, there's nothing to worry about, really. She'll be here. Um, Your Highness... Yes, what is it? Uh, how do you know, when you smile and invite a young lady in Myerling, uh, how do you know she'll uh, <clears throat> smile back? <laughs> it's like baking a cake, Bratfish. All the ingredients must be exactly right. First of all, you must see to it that, well, weather's right for it, skies are bright for it, first rendezvous, not too hot for it, what a spot for it, first rendezvous, played as we this is for the first time Simply try to please In the Viennese way Turn on the charm Daytime or night Love can become And yet delight Never alarm Never pursue Turn on the charm for your first rendezvous. On the charm, let me suggest walk arm in arm, hope for the best. Sir or madam, here's what you do. Turn on the charm for your Oh, Bradfish, I'm in love. I'm a double prisoner to the throne and to the lovely Marinka. I haven't given a thought to politics for months. Bradfish, tell me, what do you hear in the streets? The people are angry with your father. A, a revolt is brewing. Oh, no. The people know that you understand them, Your Highness. They think... That... Wait, I hear a carriage. But that must be Marinka. Then I'll leave you alone, Your Highness. You are late, Marinka. Does it please you to torture me this way? I came here as quickly as I could, even though... Yes? Oh, I did toy with the thought of making you wait. So that you'd know how I feel when you keep me waiting. Each time I'm early and you're late again I sort of hate my fate again And yet I always wait again Wonder if you know why From that last moment of our last good night I knew that I, not you, must face the fly I knew I'd suffer, and my darling, I was right. You're the exciting reason that I believe I know. Therefore, I seem to do. I found that 
Is it, my Marink? Before I left the city to come to Meyerling, I... What is it? What happened? I received a message from the Emperor, Rudy. No. He wishes to see me tomorrow. My, my father has sent for you? Rudy, is he going to separate us? Oh, my sweet, no matter what happens, I won't leave you. Because my heart is singing the same song as yours. So... No matter what happens tomorrow, no matter what my father says to you, Marinka, promise, promise you won't leave me. I promise. Baroness Vecchera, the Empire needs Rudolph, who will rule after us. Give him back to his country. But, Your Majesty, I'm not... Rudolph has told me that he would abdicate rather than give up Marinka. Oh, no. I have made the sacrifices Rudolph must make his. You must make yours for the Empire. Uh, Your Majesty, I will give him up. Good. If... If... What? If you will make use of Rudolph's talents, if you will take time to listen to him, include him in your councils of state. You ask nothing for yourself... Only uh, that your majesty will let me say goodbye to him. We have your word that it is goodbye. Yes, your majesty. Rudy, please. I promised your father... But what did you promise me, admiring? Oh, Rudy, darling, listen to me. The emperor said he would include you in his council and listen to your ideas. Your people are looking to you for help. So, the prince must forget he is a man. Oh, Rudy. No more whispered meetings in the moonlight. No more kisses in the Vienna woods. No more waltzes. The memory of waltzes. second act of Marinka in just a moment. During this half hour, the freight trains will do a job equal to hauling more than a million tons of freight a mile every minute. And the railroad's ability to do that kind of job swiftly, safely, and economically, day in and day out, 
is essential to our peacetime productiveness and absolutely vital to our nation's defense. That's why it's so important to you that America's railroads have the chance to make the earnings they need to stay strong and healthy. But the earnings of American railroads are not adequate. Why? Because in the past dozen years, the rates railroads are permitted to charge have lagged far behind the increases in the wages, prices, and taxes they must pay. And the narrowing margin between railroad income and outgo has been pinching the railroads at a time when it has been necessary for them to spend over a billion dollars a year to expand their carrying capacity and improve their efficiency as much and as quickly as possible in order to meet the needs of commerce and the demands of national defense. Now, that program must be continued if America, in these critical times, is to have the transportation it needs for our expanding mobilization. But the railroads cannot attract the capital needed for their improvement program unless they are granted rates which are more nearly in line with the prices they must pay for everything they need. Only in this way can the railroads keep fit to do their job, the job of moving more tons of freight more miles at a lower average charge than any other form of general public transportation in the world. Here is Act Two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Marinka, starring Gordon McRae as Prince Rudolph and Gladys Swarthout as the woman he loves. <laughs> Baroness, your servant. What brings you to Budapest? How is dear Vienna? And Rudolph, is he well? One question at a time, dear lady. I'm here on matters of politics. Vienna is wearing a new snowfall. And the prince... Is the happiest man in the dual monarchy. Oh, Rudy. Oh, my darling. When I got the message to meet the train, I had no idea... Radfish, call us a cab. The new one on the corner. The driver's name is Papa. Papa. Is he discreet? Oh, very. Even the horse looks the other way. <laughs> then that's the one for us on a night like this. Softly the night wind, warm wind, the light wind sings a romance with such appeal. And some hussars out, put their cigars out, reach for a peppermint pastille. Sweetheart's kiss, the hour has come. Cabs are at a premium. Tender the Cushion to match where your words of love will not embarrass for the horse with several years in Paris. <laughs> we'll ride around the ring and the park, we'll sing until we wake in the lark, and the dawn grows rosy. You'll be all oh so cozy if you stop and you hop and or drop in our flop into Papa's new I know where there's a cab we could catch Gray horse and little cushions to match We have bright new covers made from Cretan And the jump seat's nice to put your feet on Lie back, oh how relaxing it feels Lie back, it's like a dive and a wheel Rudy, darling, does the emperor know you've left Vienna? He doesn't care where I go or what I say. But he promised me. He's broken his promise. Oh, my darling. I'm almost glad the emperor couldn't keep his word, because I've been losing the strength to keep mine. You know, I was afraid you might find someone else here in Budapest. How could I? I've been so terribly lonely, as lonely as I am happy at this moment. Would you care to gaze upon a truly happy girl? I'm that rare. 
phenomenon, a truly happy girl. Gone are the clouds above me, since you give me the Can there ever be peace, my sweet, for a prince who does not wish to rule an empire? Prince Rudolph. Well, what news, Brantis? I have made contact with the Hungarian party. They must know, sir. Have you reached a decision? I have. Tell them, Bratfish, that I cannot participate in the revolt myself. But my sympathies are all with my people. I will tell them, Your Highness. Wait at Meierling. You will receive word when Vienna is prepared to receive you. God speed you, my old friend. Oh, Rudy, it could not last. You'll have to go away again, won't you? For just a little while, Marinka. Go to Vienna and I'll send for you. There is both hope and possible tragedy in the days ahead. Are you willing to share it with me, no matter what it is? Oh, yes. Yes, Rudolph. What are you doing at Meyerling? Oh, Rudy, it was terrible. They walked into a trap. What? Bratfish has been taken prisoner. The revolt has failed. Oh, no. The emperor is on his way to arrest you. Then once more, once more, I am alone. No, Rudy. As long as I live, you can never be alone. Oh, Marink, my beloved. <laughs> Rudolph, you are a threefold rebel. As an officer against your emperor, as crown prince against our constitution, as a son against your father. I await your majesty's decision. And I shall share his fate, whatever it is. Very well. There's only one sentence for high treason. You know what that is? Yes, yes, I know. I must condemn my son to death. I, I, I therefore declare you dead, both of you, uh, since you wish it that way. You're no longer living. Now, we'll get yourselves married. Leave the empire. Go anywhere in the wide world you wish. Oh, your majesty. I shall have to concoct a story about you, which I shall probably bungle and leave a legend that'll make writers happy for generations. Father, I... Go! Now, while there's still a chance. Long live, your majesty. (laughs) 
Was that the border? Yes. Farewell, Austria. There's no returning this time. It's a border to the past. And the future stretches ahead with no boundaries. I wonder. What? If the story my father will give to history about us will be as wonderful and exciting as our love. Although we are disappearing from sight, perhaps we can give new dignity to all those who must sacrifice for love. Where are we going, Rudy? I'm not sure. But wherever we wander, my sweet, we will carry in our hearts one touch of Vienna. Only one touch of Vienna, a love song my so please. Just for tonight once again, make my heart beat the knee. When sweet magic of all time, temporary. Thank you, Gladys Swarthout, for your premiere performance on the Railroad Hour. Thanks to Francis X. Bushman, Ted Osborne, Kurt Martell, and our entire company. Marinka, with music by Emrish Kalman, and book and lyrics by George Marion, Jr., and Carl Farkas, was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. From its earliest beginning, America has found its greatest strength in its spiritual principles. We have always recognized the importance of religion in our personal and community life. And today, thoughtful Americans feel more strongly than ever the need to strengthen our religious institutions and to reawaken our devotion to the moral and spiritual values which are the foundation of our way of life. We reaffirm those values every time we attend our church or synagogue. Take someone to church this week, won't you? You'll both be better for it. And now here is the charming Gladys Swarthout. Do you suppose it's true, Gordon, that the crown prince and Marinka lived happily ever after? Well, Gladys, if they did, they they could be listening to this broadcast right now. Of course, they'd be in their 80s, but I'll bet they'd want to know what's on the show train next week, the Red Mill. Such a wonderful score. Who gets locked in the mill, Gordon? Reza Stevens, Gladys, and she has to sing her way out with an assist, of course, from Victor Herbert. The Habsburgs and I will be listening. Wonderful. Good night, Gladys. All aboard. Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so into next Monday night and the Red Mill, this is Gordon McRae saying good night, everybody. Gordon McRae can be seen in Warner Brothers Starlift. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads. Now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Proceeding transcribed. Stay tuned for the telephone hour next on NBC.